the aim of feeding is for the pigs to grow right so if we use 5 kg of um, rice bran and the pig is not giving us results then you see even the 5 kg of rice bran could as much be like we're wasting our money right so we want to find that balance between the right quantity and the right quality so welcome back to another brand episode of pork five farms here we give you tips and information on how to succeed in your pig farming business so in this video we want to discuss um, some of the factors that affect nutrition that we can um, either twist to our favor so that we can have the best um, nutrition for our pigs yeah with these factors we'll know how to design our own feed mix we'll also know how to uh, or the quantity of, of feed that the pig should consume on a daily basis the first important tip that i want to present in this video is to balance quality and quantity so if um, your pig should consume on um, 3 kg or 2 kg of feed on a daily basis this 3 kg or 2 kg of feed should be filled with the right quality ingredients we're talking about corn soy meal um, a feed that has all the um, trace elements trace elements like lysine uh, methionine and all those important things that need to be in a, in a feed mix if you feed your pigs less quality feed even if it's in the right quantity you're not going to get that quality results remember the aim of feeding is for the pigs to grow right so if we use 5 kg of um, rice bran and the pig is not giving us results then you see even the 5 kg of rice bran could as much be like we're wasting our money right so we want to find that balance between the right quantity and the right quality if this comes together it becomes the perfect nutrition for your pigs and then you get the right results now let us see how this next factor can also affect our pigs the development stage of that pig the stage that the pig is in its development determines the quantity of the feed and the quality of the feed that you're going to give that pig a lactating sow for example will consume more feed than a gilt or a finisher pig right so this means that uh, if you are going to give a finisher pig say two or three kg on a daily basis a lactating sow might consume 3.5 or even 4 kg on a daily basis yes because it is lactating right it needs energy to lactate and those piglets can continue to survive you also want to make sure that your lactating sow does not lose weight you want it to continue to maintain its body weight so that it does not depreciate so, uh, after winning the piglets you, you still want to make use of that sow you don't want the sow to you know lose its value so you see the way you feed that sow is going to be different from how you feed gilt and how you feed um you know finisher pigs the quality of that sow's feed is also going to be different from that of the finisher stage so it is these differences that makes this factor very important a lot of times farmers we farmers want to you know give our pigs this one feed for all our pigs you know it makes it simpler to do pig farming but what we're doing is not really pig farming. If we are not taking into cognizance the stage of development that that pig is in at that point in time, we're not going to be getting the best results for that animal. But at this point, I want to be sure that we're getting value out of this video. If you know you're feeling the power of the information from this video, it motivates you to want to do better in your pig farm, please pause this video and go down in the comments below and type a yes. Also smash the like button and thank you very much for that. So let's go to the third factor that can help us get the best out of our nutrition. The third thing that we need to do after we've done the first two is to track the pig's growth. Now, what does this really mean? It means that as a farmer, you should be able to tell if your pigs are growing or not. Yes, the whole uh, reason for taking the first factor and the second factor into consideration is to be able to apply the third factor, actually tracking their growth. And you know the only way we can actually effectively do this is to weigh your pigs if you can't weigh them then you cannot really tell if they are growing or not a lot of the times we farmers want to just uh, look at our pigs and tell if they are growing or not i mean like it's growing right it's growing right look at it i mean like this is not how it was last week and stuff like that yeah while this might work of course you can see that your pigs are growing but you need to know the rates at which they are growing if you think about it you see, the feed you gave your pig was measured in kg, right? And the quality feed was mixed with several quality ingredients, all measured in kg in their several percentages, right? You see, the only way that it will tell you if these pigs are growing or not is when you measure their results also in terms of kg, 
over a particular period of time. We need to know if the effort we are putting in is actually working. If we um, check the weight of the pigs over like two weeks, and of course, you know, we have an expected amount of weight that this pig should gain over that two weeks. And then we achieve our result. You see, it encourages you, right? You want to continue on that pattern. But then if you check your results, uh, you weigh the pigs and you see that your result, it's not giving you the expected results. Then you cannot check in what are the other factors that is contributing to their weight loss. There are other factors, you know, in one of my other videos, we discuss about factors like um, genetics. Yes, we discuss how temperature can affect the growth of pigs. We also discuss about deworming, right? If you paid attention to that video, you realize that if we don't deworm our pigs regularly, you see that um, you see you'll be feeding your pigs, but then worms are consuming a greater percentage of that feed, which is very bad for business, right? So that is the importance of tracking the weight of your pigs. Now, at this point, I want to encourage all you farmers out there. You are putting in a great work, and you know your inquisitiveness is also good. You want to learn more. You are always eager. You ask questions. I want to let you guys know that whichever question I get down in the comment section, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to make it into a video like this so that all of us can benefit and continue to grow together. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Pork Life Farms. Don't forget to smash that like button so that you can keep seeing videos like this pop up on your screen and you can keep enjoying them. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.